Yesterday's attack at the arena in Manchester is really a reminder of the world that we live in and of the way that, that soft targets have really become one of the, the go-to uh, targets of, of terrorism in our time. Uh, what was interesting about this attack from our perspective is that it was not an attempt really to get the device into the, the arena, uh, but the attackers chose to uh, hit the crowd as they were leaving the arena on their way to the subway. Uh, this prevents or presents really a, a very densely packed area, and it really gives a, a target-rich environment uh, for someone wanting to create a mass casualty attack. In many ways, it reminds us of some of the attacks that we've seen against airports, uh, where airports have been hit on the soft side of the airport, the land side, outside of security. They're, again, trying to uh, hit the softer target instead of trying to engage security and, and get through it. This attack, uh, as far as we've seen so far, uh, could have been an individual. It, it could have been a cell. And of course, that is the, the critical question that is facing investigators right now as, as they race to figure out exactly what happened. You know, is there a cell out there that can conduct more attacks? Uh, but from everything that we've seen so far, uh, there doesn't seem to be a, a degree of sophistication that would have required any sort of uh, external assistance. This could have been something that one grassroots jihadist conducted himself. Of course, you know, the police are, are looking for the bomb maker. They want to find out if it was the suicide bomber or if there's another bomb maker somewhere that is equipping other people to conduct these types of attacks. As the investigation proceeds, uh, we're, we're going to have a, a lot more information to analyze and, and look at. The, the police are going to be able to uh, really provide video of the subject arriving at the scene, whether he came alone, whether he contacted anybody. Obviously, they're going to be pulling uh, you know, phone records, internet records, and other things to see who he was talking to, if someone uh, perhaps aided him or assisted him in this attack. But in the meantime, uh, this is just really the, the kind of attack uh, that, that we've come, unfortunately, that we've come to expect in, in, in the world today. Uh, simple attacks using readily available items, whether it's a homemade bomb, uh, whether it's a knife, whether it's a vehicle, conducted against a, a very soft target.